Hi, I'm Bob Rankin. Welcome to the wonderful world of art and to composition. As a teacher of over 30 years in the Raleigh Public Schools, I've always had a, a, an interest in having students to come up with their strongest compositions and how to teach them to see. And I have a little tricks of the trade here that I'd like to bring into use and to show you how you can actually start to look at the ordinary in an extraordinary light. So I had this wonderful teacher in the school design at State by the name of Joe Cox. He's one of my best teachers that I've ever worked with. And he had this, this saying that I, I've, it's always stuck with me. There is an inch of genius in every work. It's just a question of finding that inch of genius. So I'm going to use one of my paintings that I worked on a couple of weeks ago. And to look at it as kind of a hybrid. So I have all of this information on this large four by six foot canvas. And let's assume I consider this to be a completed piece, but then how can I learn from it? How can I take information from this that might lead me in to the new direction? So I'm going to use a viewfinder here. It's just simply a piece of foam core. I've cut a square out of it. And I'm going to start manipulating the surface here and to see how many other compositions I could possibly come up with. Oftentimes when you're doing this, you're simplifying the composition and it might even become a much stronger piece. So I'm always trying to learn from what I've previously done. I like the movement of the linear work here. I really enjoy the contrast between the light and dark areas here. I love the neutrals that I've incorporated here. So in my next painting, I might really start to emphasize that. Another fun thing to do in a way that I've had students work on in the past is that I'll have them start to look through magazines. Some of the better magazines would be National Geographic's because they use some of the best photographers in the world. But also fashion magazines are great, newspapers are great, car ads are great. Anything that is graphically strong. Interview Magazine has some of the most interesting advertisements that you can come up with abstract compositions from. So again, I'll use a viewfinder and then I will st suddenly start to look and go through all of these different images here to see what I can find within the image. So for example on this, yes it's a scene in Taiwan, um, a, a scene of a stairway. I'm forgetting the fact that it's a representational view of stairs of a building in the distance. I am not interested in that. What I'm looking for is really strong composition. I'm looking for asymmetrical balance. I'm looking for a focal point that is not in the center of the composition. I'm looking for some type of rhythm that's created through repetition of shapes and forms. I'm looking for a really good use of negative space in the background. Nature is great to extrapolate abstract images. For example, nature is one of the best abstractors of images as is evidenced in this wonderful Yellowstone uh, photograph. These are close-ups of some of the thermal pools in Yellowstone. Well, if you take a look at that, that alone would make a great abstract painting. But then if we take that and really start to change and manipulate that image, you can come up with even stronger compositions. So this is just one of the many tools that you can use to look for a different type of image to come up with so that you're creating. This is Bob Rankin. Thank you very much.